Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Test, test, can you hear me? Did anybody come? Ah. What is up guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen that are tuning in after the live stream and who are already here. There are, are some already queued up, but it is November 29th, 2018. We are nearing the end, or yeah, we are nearing the end of 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Um, oh, I do want to bring up that, sorry about yesterday, uh, sorry I had just a, you know, a filler video to go up because at the very least, every single day, uh, I try to release a video, whether I can make my live stream or not, so I do have, uh, videos on, kind of like standby that are, uh, filler videos, uh, but I, I do try to make it here, it's just, I, I wasn't feeling 100%, and, uh, you know, with the market how it was, I just needed a day off. But we're back. I'm feeling good. We're refreshed. Not drinking Mountain Dew today, guys. Today, the drink of choice is a uh, Mountain Lion. So this is not an official endorsement. This is just all opinion right here. I like it. Um, Mountain Lion or Mountain Dew, anything with Mountain in the name, you can sponsor me. I will drink it, and I will rep you like nobody has ever repped you before. But uh, back to back to crypto and the news and everything else. Uh, we have Bitcoin above $4,000. Yes, Bitcoin is at 4,262 at this moment. Ethereum is at 117. Litecoin is at 33. Bitcoin SV is doing something at $100. Monero is at 61. And Ethereum Classics at 495. Zcash at 88. Interesting. All right. So, 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 so. Who's in the live chat today? Sonia Near, Charlie Quiz, Bitcoin Jake, Secret Recipe, Stan Wakefield, Czar420. J. Bohannon, Daniel Eve, Yaznik, Island Robs, Jamie Ross. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the live chat. I did want you guys to check, and I, I think it's like down, no, it's going to be down here somewhere at the bottom. Can you see what resolution I'm currently streaming in? Can you? I, I'm try, I tried to up it to 1080. Shelby 751, Mountain Douche. Hey, if it's got mountain in it. Hi from AU. Hello there, Rafal. Jesse. What's crapping in? Well, other than the marking it. The marking it. I'm on 720p. I'm trying to I'm trying to stream. Hold on, let me let me bring it up and see if it'll let me watch myself in 1080. I, I was I was working with it trying to get all the settings tweaked. It'll only go to 720p. Maybe I didn't um why are there black bars right here? What is that about? No. Hmm. I must have done something wrong on my settings because that is not what I wanted. I don't think I can change the settings while I'm live either. I was trying to get... Streaming output. Same as stream. Video. Oh, there we go. I messed it up. I can't change it right now. But I have my my canvas resolution at 1920 by 1080, but my my scaled output is 1260 by 787. Have no idea why it's like that, but okay, um, I just got it wrong. So we're all good there. Anyway, back to um, back to normal stuff. So uh, I did want to check on Ether One. Does anybody else have anything that they're um, they're looking at? Hey, Savage Mind, how you doing? Uh, either one's at 1 1.6 cents. Not doing too bad. What about Nerva? I've been CPU mining a little bit of Nerva, but I'm not exactly happy with how their GUI miner is working. Um, it's a ASIC and GPU resistant coin. Um, we can go over that a little bit later in the video if you guys want to check it out. But uh, their their coin was valued up in the, the high teens, you know, 15, 16 cents, and it fell all the way down to like 4 cents, and it's slowly starting to recover. But already I, I hit two blocks each block is like 24 coins so I've, I've got a couple coins stacked up but nothing crazy so our 420 is looking at buying another ether one master node definitely check out uh, the master nodes aren't paying out like they used to but um, I still don't think it's a bad investment what uh, what, what else let's see uh, micro Bitcoin what's it at five Satoshi's so it's down a little bit it was at six Satoshi's yesterday Hmm, what else? 
I think that I think that's about all I was watching recently. What about Stellar? Stellar, 16 cents. Okay, so let's go over to the graphics cards. That's what everybody comes for. Web chain. We'll look at web chain. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to try next is web chain. Everybody seems to love this coin. It's at 78 Satoshis or 0 .003 of of a dollar. It's a third of a cent currently. Web chain. Is Raven worth mining now? Pretty stable lately. Yeah, I'm I'm mining Raven on just a few cards. Um, and let's let's check out what Raven's at. 465 Satoshis. In my in my book, Raven's still doing really good. My buddy set up a Horizon Secure node. Ooh, lucky. It's a lot of money for a Horizon node. Check out Vites. It seems like a pretty good micro cap coin with promising looking project. Uh, Vites. V I T E S. Is it on Coin Market? Vites. Vites. Um. It is. What? What is that? It's not even worth a Satoshi. Is that what that means? It's worth under a Satoshi. Circulating supply 29. 30, 35 billion. Ooh, there's a lot of vites out there. Wait, is that? Yeah, 35 billion. Interesting. Oh, that's an, it's a new. It popped up in November 28th. Wait, did it just come online? Interesting. That was yesterday. Uh, definitely will be checking that out. Let's go over to the graphics cards and show y'all what is uh, happening. So, have uh, most of the farm on Ethereum right now just due to the fact that Ethereum has fallen off in difficulty big time. Same with Ethereum Classic, but I wanted to stack up a little bit more Ethereum. Um, day to day, uh, over the last 24 hours, it's up about 4 to 5% uh, in actual fiat value going from... The 1050 Ti was making 17 cents a day. Now it's making 18 cents a day. Uh, is it profitable? Uh, just barely. Um, if you're selling off right now, I, I I don't even know what the word. I advise you not to and try to hold on to as much coin as you can because um, I, I think we're grossly undervalued. Yes, I think we're going to go down a little bit more. So if you do have to sell some and pay some electricity, you got to do what you got to do. But if you can't afford to hold on to it, I'd, I'd hold on to some uh, or try to trade it. I've been trying to do a little trading lately. Uh, it seems like if you can um, watch the market and you have the time and ability, you can definitely uh, capitalize on, on some of our lost mining profits for sure. But uh, yeah, every, everything is up on Ethereum. Raven pretty much was stagnant from yesterday to today. Aeon was up 25%. Wow. Okay. Aeon was actually up, up pretty good on mining. Um, so does anybody have any questions with how the chart is? The way you can read it is graphics card, the percentage of change in the last 24 hours, what it's making in Satoshi or uh, fiat today, what it was making in fiat yesterday, the coin or algorithm it's on, the average speed the card's getting, and then the Satoshi value per day that it's making. So let me read the chat. Um, TV Time said Raven's doing well. Yes, Sonia Near said when ears when ears we going update for the Acorn Miner for the 24 hours. Sonia Near, um, I talked to Frankie. He was not allowed. He couldn't. Not that he wasn't allowed. He was not able to run it for a full 24 hours. He had some crashing, some instability issues. I don't know if it's related to the Acorn or related to the motherboard CPU, the the combo he was running. So he's currently doing some tweaking, trying to get it stable. So he does not actually know what it can do in a full 24 hours yet. And that's after, you know, a couple days of trying to mess with this thing. Vites is almost free. Michael Johns, yes, Vites is very, very low. Take off the shades, last bit of mining. Last bit of mining, we can't take off the shades. We're in the green today. We have to shade ourselves from all this money we're making. One fat miner, 56 people watching. Why only 12 thumbs up? You might have to refresh it because every I know everybody's hitting the, that thumbs up mark right now. Aeon was the biggest mover in the last 24 hours, and my 1050s are loving it. Uh, they're the two gig cards, so I can't mine any like eth hash algorithms other than Ether One and uh, Aeon. They just burn Aeon up. Nvidia definitely loves mining some Aeon. 
Manny Class, you said you'd be running the Ant Miner. Yes, I, I said I would be running the Ant Miner. Um, but there was some stuff that happened yesterday. Uh, wasn't able to actually make the stream. Wasn't able to do a lot of things that I wanted to. But uh, I'm back up and good now. So a Ant Miner will be will be in running. I really don't have a good excuse. There's no excuse. Um, yesterday was just uh, one of those days. You know what I mean? You, you have a bad one every now and then. And uh, yeah, yesterday was not a good one for me. But it's okay. Everything's good. Tim, TH, welcome in the house, brother. Manny Class. Oh, you called me out on it. Uh, Derrickin, howdy, howdy. Marvin Diesel, we're all going to be rich soon. Yes, this is uh, this is time for the Lambos. C pick your colors. Order now. Five ninety nine. Michael Johns, yep, been trying to tell you about that Aeon. Michael Johns, you had been trying to, and guys like Yashnik, there's a couple other guys that were on the Aeon train for sure, and um, yes, I, I definitely have to hit my coin mark and hit the amount of coins that I want to get on Aeon before um, it explodes, because I think Aeon's going to do good things. Manny Class says, I'll forgive you this time. Thank you, Manny, I appreciate it. TV time. How many rigs do you have, Brandon? Uh, I have a little bit, a little over 50 cards, uh, and they're spread across one, two, three, four, five, um, like six and a half rigs. And I say a half a rig because, like, beside me, I have a little test rig, and it can only hold four cards because it's just running on like a U-bit four splitter on like just a single mother or on a motherboard that's only got a single out for uh, PCI Express. Um, so that's that's kind of like a half rig. But not all of them are full, you know. I'm I'm constantly like pulling cards and pushing cards, and you know I have a card in the living room in my girlfriend's computer that mines occasionally. You know I mine occasionally with my main system. Um, I got a test bench over here with two cards in it. It's just like I just got cards everywhere. You know what I mean? Manny class, 19 bitcoins get you that Lambo, guys. Yeah, see, all you need is 19 bitcoins. No big deal. Crypto King, screw Lambos. I'm getting a Tesla. Yeah, you can actually pay for a Tesla in straight Bitcoin. So, that's that's good. Derrickin, got my squirrel acorn accelerator. Uh, Derry, Derrickin, uh, Derrickin. Oh, man, I'm horrible at saying your name. Are you? Have you been successful with running your uh, acorn and without crashing or anything like that? I'd love to hear some results if you are. TV time. I got the U-bit splitter. Also, yes, I love my U-bit splitters. They work really good. I really don't have any issues with them. Jamie Ross, check X Cash. Let me know. Keep up, keep the shades on. Yeah, I gotta keep the shades on, bro. TV Time says Aeon is like the next Raven. That is a possibility for sure. Maybe better. Gray, uh, oh, he's talking about Derek and Terry B said Brandon Coin. You should try G Miner. It's the best miner for 144 and a half and 192.7. He recently added Aeon and will probably be faster. Terry B, I need to check that out because uh, I'd, I'd definitely like to squeeze some more saws out of those little 1050s. Currently have 11 of the, the, those 1050s right now. And uh, if you notice, I actually got some boxes over here in the back. Uh, I'm going to be pulling some of those 1050s out. And I'm actually going to be selling some of those 1050s off because... Guys, if you're watching the GPU market, see, I watch eBay all the time, and the, the GPU market on 1050s, I, I don't want to you know pull the rug out from underneath myself, but the GPU market on 1050s is going up. Um, just a month ago, you could uh, you could buy 1050s for 60, 70 bucks. I bought one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five Zotac 1050s, these right here. A couple like I don't know a couple two or, or so months ago I paid fifty dollars a piece for them but right now these 1050s are selling for over a hundred dollars a piece used on eBay so I'm gonna clean up a couple of them sell off about four or five and try to roll that money back into um, maybe some RX 570s or 580s because right now like uh, Nvidia cards are elevated in price whereas the AMD cards are still coming down uh, I'm still seeing 570s going for 100 bucks, 470s going for you know 80 to 90. Um, you just have to you have to play that game, and um, my 1050s have been great to me. But I just got to capitalize on expanding my farm at this point. How much hash rate does a Tesla get? I don't know, man. Bitcoin Jake hashtag wins the super. I'd love to have a super, man. 
Gray, there's no software available on their site, so at the moment the unit's useless. Oh man. Um, hopefully, uh, Gray, you can. There's a there is one piece of software. It's not official from Acorn or Squirrel, but um, a couple of guys in the Discord are running it for solo mining Zen protocol on their Acorns. But they, I don't think they've been 100% successful at the moment. One fat miner, the way Aeon is designed for its use. It is designed to be a low USD value. Same with Raven. At uh, Bitcoin Jake, probably like 12 hashes a mile. Oh, you're talking about the Tesla. Crypto King, Raven has a nice Android wallet. Well, awesome to hear. Yasnik is referring to Terry B. Yes, it seems to be a little bit better, but does have a 2% dev fee. Durican, I have it running. I have it running the... Acorn Miner Alpha, no crashes, 370 mega hash, Zen protocol, waiting for the real miner software still. Okay, hey, Durican, what? It, so you're getting 370 mega hash stable on your Zen protocol? That's awesome. Good news. Like, awesome to hear somebody's, like, got it working and not just sitting. Terry B said you're going to send me a link on Discord. Let me, uh, da, 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 there we are. Terry B. Oh, okay, awesome. So I got the uh, that's the miner for for Aeon and the other modified Equihash algorithms or the new Equihash. Thank you for that, Terry B. We'll definitely check that out and see if I can get some some increased hash rates. Mm, Marvin Crypto King Raven Coin has an Android wallet. Didn't even know that. I I didn't know that they had their own Android wallet either. Backish Shamil RX570 is a very good GPU. Yes, they are. I like them. One Fat Miner RX580 High End MSI Gaming X 140 used on eBay. I got some of them off eBay. Yes, see, 570s, 580s, they're going cheap, guys. Ace K, how's your L3 Plus doing? Waiting for the video. Yes, I, I am. I have an appointment tomorrow to go set it up. Ha 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 ha. So it should be good. Back is Shamal. I mine with nine RX five seventy four gigs and eight gigs of ether. Awesome man. Crypto cracker. Will you let everyone know when you'll your cards? Will you let everyone know when you'll you'll your cards when I sell my cards? Well, I'm I'm about to sell like five of them. Maybe tomorrow. I put just got the boxes down. I'm going to clean the cards off, uh, pull like four or five out of the rig, and um, list them on eBay. So, I mean, I guess this is my heads up for letting you know I'm, I'm going to sell like four or five cards to hopefully then buy more cards, right? And give some more content, too. At Bitcoin Jake, what's the percentage increase of that? What's the percentage increase of what? Turning 1050s into 470s or 570s? Um, one fat miner, Dorican. Any info on the custom miner for the acorn? Sony Near says post it here for the acorn link. Yeah, actually, I'd like to look at that too. One fat miner, I know the acorns are open for your own custom bit streams. Backish Mall said, Who is here? Have free electricity in mind. Oh, I wish I had free electricity. Uh, Alex HD, HD, what's up, Alex? Man, nice to hear from you, bro. Crypto King says, yes, check out Google Play Store for Ravencorn Wallet. Thank you for that. Alex HD, 77 viewers. Man, what, you're laughing at my 77 viewers? I know. We don't have the viewer base as, as we used to. The crypto community in general has been a lot smaller over the past of the course of the last couple months. But 77 is not too bad. Um, back is Shamal Mill says, Brennan, what do you mind? Thank you. Well, if you see right here, these are my graphics cards, and these are what they're actually mining. So I have 90% of my farm currently on Ethereum. Uh, I just came off of Ethereum Classic. Um, I wasn't going to go back to Ethereum, but then I saw the difficulty, like, nosedive, and I had to get back on it. Gray says 580s on Newegg for 165 We have to go check that out. Terry B, t -t 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 -t. Marvin Diesel, Brandon, which exchange do you use to trade off your coins? Well, I have a Binance, Binance exchange um, account. I have um, Crypto Bridge, 
Uh, I have a bid on Bay account and I have a Cryptopia account. So I use all of those depending on what coin I'm actually looking for or looking to trade off or, or buy. So RX 580s. Low to high. 199. Maybe he meant 570s or maybe it was 570s. Let's see. 570s. 149 for the Phantoms. 139 for the Red Dragons. That is cheap. Yeah, 139 for the Red Dragons right now. Roland, Zut Roland, how much do you pay per kilowatt hour, Brandon? Um, I just got an updated uh, pay rate, I, or uh, electricity rate. I used to be at nine cents per kilowatt hour, everything included. Now they raise it up to 10 cents per kilowatt hour, and that's everything included. So delivery fee, blah, blah, blah. So 10 cents per kilowatt hour. I'm, I'm barely break even right now on most stuff. Savage Mind, when looking for Ravencoin wallet, be sure to only use the one that says Raven wallet. I am not sure the others are legit. The right one is from Medici Ventures. Medici Ventures. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Savage Mind, thank you for that information. Would not want to send your Raven to a compromised wallet by any means. Michael John says, yes, that's 77 real miners tuning in to watch some stuff. And I probably have a little bit of delay because uh, I'm not being able to keep up on the live chat. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Fetus7755, can't get enough of the crypto content. Can't wait to build a rig. This is definitely time to build a rig because like these cards were double this price just six and eight months ago. Like double to triple at, at some point. Manny class, I'm okay with a smaller audience. We get more of your attention. No problem, man. I, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that come out. Um, it, it really does keep the ball rolling for sure. Backish Small says, Brandon Coin, I agree. Uh, difficulty did nosedive. Good observation. Best regards from New York City, man. Well, I hope you are staying warm up there in New York City. Keep those miners up running and pumping heat. There's no reason to pay for... for uh, for heat when you're a miner um, if you're getting cold you just need to expand your mining rigs you need more cards one fat miner says right on bro I went to ETH as well because of the difficulty so much lower getting sick sick amounts of ETH yes yes crypto king Brandon pays 10 cents yes I'm I must be way behind I am way behind on the chat Thank you for that, Crypto King. Savage Mind, man, in a few years, we're going to be so lucky. Savage Mind, I know, I know. you. Uh, your tweet hit the nail on the head back, what, like two or three weeks ago. Um, you know, people are going to look back in like two or three years, and all those guys were so lucky for, you know, getting all those coins and mining for so long. And there's no luck involved. This is, um, it's work. It really is. At the end of the day, um, it's, you know, it's work. <laughs> It's work not only uh, not only physically but mentally too and monetarily because you you know you're pouring your wallet out to build these mining rigs that everybody's telling you not to do um, then you're mentally you know having to deal with all these people that want to drag you down and drag you out of the market or drag you this way or drag you that way oh you know don't mine and you know you need to sell off your stuff and you know you're crazy I dude I hear it all the time you would not even believe it so yeah we are lucky. Uh, secret recipe what new coin launches tomorrow I would love to hear it um, Roland we pay 0.25 euro per kilowatt here and oh my gosh that is a crazy electricity rate uh, Derekin says FPGA dot guide uh, uh, Derekin FPGA dot guide what is that FPGA dot guide hmm very interesting the beginner's guide oh so it's got a ton of information so if you ever want to learn about FPGAs which I'm completely open to I just want the you know them to be a little bit more fleshed out at the moment which there are some that are hitting the market and actually uh, nailing the mark. Um, I know the technicals is having good luck with his uh, uh, the F1 miner. Uh, 
I'll cook a hundred pounds of chicken here in Tennessee for a crypto party. Shelby 751. A hundred pounds of chicken, man. That's a lot of that's a lot of chicken right there. But I'd love to have a crypto party eventually. Uh, Dorika, scroll to squirrel on the left, then scroll down to Acorn. You have to click download miner plus Bitstream. Scroll to squirrel on the left, then scroll down to Acorn. Err, what did I miss? Squirrel and then acorn. What am I missing, guys? Durican, am I on the right page? Czar420 says, yes, Brandon, your channel got me addicted to GPU mining. Great job on the videos. Keep them up. Well, um, I guys, coming up here in the next couple weeks, I will be going on vacation. So I have been, if you notice, my uh, content off of the live streams has slowed down. Um, that's because I'm, I'm storing up a, a bunch of videos to release on regular intervals while I am gone. I won't be able to live stream. So I obviously want to keep uh, providing content and just keep the ball rolling because, like, you know, I gotta hit my goals of you know constant content, video every day. Never stop mining. Where are you from, Coin? I'm in Marquette, Michigan. I am in Raleigh. Well, I'm north of Raleigh, North Carolina. Jamie Ross, if you know where that's at, that's uh, north of the capital of uh, North Carolina. East Coast. Um, Sonia Near, I'm getting more ideas for the rig and we'll post to reddit as an update thank you for that Rafal 38 C 100 degrees Fahrenheit this weekend in Sydney Australia too hot rigs off this weekend man I, I do have to say like the US is going through the winter right now um, if we were in the summertime I would definitely probably have to power down some rigs because of not only the heat but the extra electric cost of trying to keep the mining rigs cool and I might have to, I don't know, move them outside or something, but uh, I, I, dude, I feel for you guys in Australia going through y'all's summer right now. Crypto King, mine and pay your electric with the job income, hold coins for a year, buy a Tesla. That's my strategy. Crypto King, you might have to hold them for longer than a year, but I think that strategy is perfect. Many class, I believe ETH will take back second place soon in the coin market cap of the caps. Yes. Durican am contemplating contemplating buying the F1. Well, if you do buy the F1, the Technicals does have an affiliate link. I, I guess he's working with them in some form or fashion. So um, think about going over there, checking out his videos on the on the uh, the, the black miner, and um, using his code if you do want one. Gotta gotta keep the community strong because uh, the weak hands are gonna be pushed out soon. Um. Uh, you're eating I'm cooking oh Shelby you're talking about the um you're, you're not buying the beer I will if you have a crypto party um, it, it'll be bring your own beer bring beer for everybody but uh you got the chicken savage mind thank you for the five dollars donation through super chat appreciate that bro see here scroll down farther oh, okay my bad man I already closed it out I just now saw where you said that Tesh zero boy I meant to get one black Friday but forgot thanks Manny ledger wallet so back is Shamil live stream from your vacation I thought about live streaming but the thing is I'm going on a cruise and the internet is horrible slash non-existent I will bring my laptop with me and if they do have some sort of they said they do have some like Wi-Fi that you can buy by the like hour and megabyte I'd love to try to do some kind of stream while I'm out there I just don't know if it's gonna work we're gonna try um, going somewhere down to the Caribbean or something but uh, hopefully gonna have a, a good time it's uh, it's the family thing they kind of get everybody to get in on it and um, we buy them like super super early in the year and uh, 
uh, always in the past I've always had a job that kind of conflicted with it so I wasn't able I haven't been able to go for like four or five years but this year is the year that I quit my job and I started up a company with me and my brother did so I'm a lot more flexible now because uh, you know we're our own boss so to speak so I'm going on the family vacation and it's gonna be awesome and um, yeah and this is like a huge family vacation you know my uncles and aunts and grandparents and all kinds of people come but we'll try we will try Terry B yeah Oz is turning into swamp territory as Aussie mate will always tell me oh yeah yeah it's it's hot down there in Australia right now um Michael John says no internet equals no cruise man I dude I've, I haven't been on a cruise in, in a hot minute I've only ever, actually ever been on one um, and I cannot wait to go on the second one. Thank you for that, uh, back at Shamil, or back at Shamal. Enjoy your vacation. Did you buy tickets with crypto, Manny Class? Nah, I didn't. I just used my old Fiat. Terry B, Brandon the Man of Leisure. Well, you got it? Hey, life's too short not to enjoy it. Tell me you are not still buying GPUs. N K N K N N I I. I absolutely am buying GPUs, but Mr. NKNK, you'll be happy because I'm also I'm selling some GPUs too. Um, the uh, the used market is up on Nvidia 1050s and 1060s. So if you've ever thought about trying to get out of your 1050s and 1060s and you want to get into something else, AMD market is down. You know, AMD cards are down, Nvidia cards are up. So I'm going to sell off 1050s and essentially take that money, turn right around, and buy 570s with them. Uh, so I'll be able to come out card for card. It's like trading a 1050 for a 570 in my book. That's a no-brainer um, Even on ether one which they can both mine that you know a 570 is over double the performance of a 1050 now a 1050 can mine a couple things that a 570 can't but uh, I think I'll be much better off with 570s for sure Michael John says dang right we are stacking and holding some GPUs here dude. Oh, yeah one fat miner, so you're like crackhead. Gotta sell some of my crack to buy even more crack. I, I guess that's one way to put it. I gotta sell some uh, ineffective crack to then turn it into better crack, I guess. Czar420, how do I donate to you in crypto? Well, there is should be a link down below in the description, and it says, like, support the stream, and then, like, support with crypto. If you click on that, it'll take you to a page that'll ask you what do you want to use to support with, and that's how you do it. Back at Shamil, have anyone used crypto to buy something on Overstock online store? I have not, but I've used crypto on Newegg before. So, I have used crypto before. Da, 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 da. Now, let's get back to our, our, our venture here. Let's go and let's do a rig of the day. I totally went out of order on everything today. Um, we have one from Yashnik one day ago. This is the rig of the day, 2018, uh, November 28th. So yeah, he posted this yesterday. Yashnik says, no Aeon address still to donate. Yashnik, I have a how to mine Aeon video, and that will definitely have my Aeon address and everything. It's set to be published. That's one of the videos that's coming up while I'm going to be out on, on my cruise. So, you need to look out for it there, Yajnik. These two are my rigs mining Aeons since mainnet launch on April 25th, 2018. I don't hear anything. Why are they not running, Yajnik? Did you just unplug them for the video? Very clean design, though. What are those? Uh, are those the 1070s? 1070 Ti's? Twelve GPU rig right there. Got the uh, the electrical tape mod, I think. Yep. Yeah. G three EVGAs, solid power supplies. Details below. Let's see this one. There's no audio, but. We'll make it. We'll make it bigger screen here. 
I like these fans. I like the clear fan blades. One, two, three, four, five, six. A six card rig. This is a clean setup, too, there, Yasnik. Oh, man. What are those? What are those? What kind of, uh. What kind of risers are you using? Some red risers. Tell me they're running off six pin. Please tell me. I think they are. Let's back this up. I wasn't even paying attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Yes, Nick. I caught you. I gotta I, I gotta do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what these risers are good for right here, right now, okay? See? This. This right there. That's a problem, okay? That's a problem. You know why? Because you're gonna come home one day and it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be like Oh, I'm actually drawing pretty good. Better than I thought. Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah. Boom. Okay. You know, I know, I know. You need to fix those, bro. Dude, we don't want you to burn down. Holy smokes, man. Look at that. Running Sedas on some big boy. Those aren't little 1050s or 1060s either. Those are some big boy cards. They pull some power. Okay. So, there we go. Painting with Brandon. Alien. All right. Bitcoin technical analysis. Ah. All right. Let's get off of that. All right. <laughs> Pablo, Brandon, Picasso. Who knew? I know, guys. I know. I need to. I got to can that. Can't show off all my my creativity today. <laughs> you could be a starving artist. I'm not good at the starving part though. Alright, so before Before oh my god. Is that Yajnik? What's up, bro? You got the Aeon shirt reffing? And I see Okay, so before he had his uh his <laughs> All the uh, the potential fire hazards laying on the desk. I like the CPU cooler. Then after the fire hazards are in a rig. I don't know how you still have those risers running. Oh, I like the uh, dude. The fans are awesome. Is that you, Yasnik? Dude, you're kind of buff, man. You got a Mexican flag. Uh, I don't know what that's what Jamaican right Jamaican flag and got the Canadian flag. Is this like your office? Is this a hangout zone? Where's the maple syrup at? Hold on. You're in Canada, right? I don't see a single bottle of maple syrup on this countertop. Are you sure you're a real Canadian? All right, let's keep on going. Let's see what we got going on, dude. That thing is bright. I like it. You like the RGB. It's my man cave. Ah, see, this is my man cave. It used to be our guest bedroom, but I'm like, hey, we don't need no guests. Anybody coming here? And then our other guest bedroom upstairs, uh, you know, it's full of like mining rigs and stuff. YouTube watcher Brandon Coin be trolling. It's okay, man. It's all in good fun because you know what? If you go upstairs and look at anything, you look look in my room, dude. You can troll so many things in here. Shame on you, Yaznik. It's okay. Yaznik's gonna get it fixed for sure. You gotta get the U bit risers. So the top six cards are Zotac GTX 1070 Ti minis. Yeah, I thought those were the 1070 minis. Didn't know they were the Ti's. Um, the bottom six are Zotac's 1080 minis. Okay, so these are 1080s and those are 1070Ti's. Awesome. The motherboard is ASRock H110 Pro. I actually just got one of those in. Thank you, Mr. Foo Fitter. Bought that from him in the Discord. Got 12 T-Mobile SATA to Molex 6-pin risers. T-Mobile. 
T module. Bro, I caught you. I caught you. I, yeah, his name. I caught you again, bro. Spell checking. T module. T mobile. Gonna have a, a SATA explosion. Yeah. I caught you again, bro. It's not T mobile. You ain't calling them risers. T module risers. It's okay, though. Got the uh, La Woohoo Miner case. Let's actually check this out. That was a good looking case. 199 Canadian uh, Ruples. I want Ver <laughs> Michael John says he wants some Verizon risers. Dude, I need me some, uh, some... I need some Sprint risers. That way they're going to lose connection every 30 minutes. I'll be like, where's my graphics cards at? Can you hear me now? <laughs> it's it's going to be Ether Pool calling my graphics cards. Can you hear me now? What's your hash rate? It's going to be like... <sighs> Lost connection. <laughs> Bitcoin Jake says he likes the Virgin Mobile risers. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's keep on rolling. We actually got we're we're fact checking this right now. He's got an Intel i3 7100 CPU from B and H Photo. Two four gig sticks, a Micron Ballistics DDR4 RAM. I swear to goodness, if I click on this and this is the red. Ballistics, it is. It's the red ballistics ram. Yashnik is a. There's only one person that runs it. Well, I know a lot of people run this ram, but there's only one person that actively like promotes this ram on YouTube. And I, you guys know who it is. I, I mean, I'm I'm still a watcher of them. I, I love them to death. Voscoin, bro, it. Reach out to me. Talk to me. Voscoin, you're awesome, and I'd love to talk to you anytime you want to talk to me, if you want to. Probably not, but yes, Voscoin recommended this like in every rig build he ever does. I recommend the Snake Ram because it's got a snake on it. Either way, still good Ram. Let's keep on going. Uh, yeah, Zinc. hey, I worked hard on the post, right? Dude, you did. This is a good quality post. That's why I'm going to take my time and go through every bit of it for sure. I bet the cat unplugged his Wi-Fi. Ballistics don't play. I have four on a cord to do it, and they just work. Ballistic is good RAM. I actually think I got a stick of Ballistics over here to the side, but I primarily buy the like the Viper RAM or whatever because it's cheaper. It works. I love my Rip Jaws for performance, though. Got a 120 gig SSD. Got a J-Bing GG dual PSU adapter. I think that's like the same ones I use. Yeah, it is. Those those work. They work really well. Um, 10 Corsair LED 120mm fans. Red and white. Hold on. These are not the fans you're running, Yajnik. You're running blue fans. And I don't see blue colors here. Yajnik exposed right here, right now. Trying to tell us he's got Corsair fans. He's probably got some eBay fans. Doesn't matter. They probably are Corsair fans. They probably just don't offer them in blue anymore. Yeah, they don't have the blue ones anymore. Yajnik exposed right, <laughs> right here, right now. Uh, the two Kaboke fan splitters, fan power splitters. What is it? Just like, oh, those are handy actually. Never have enough of those little fan plugs. Got the 10 Apivia fan grills, two Ryo Rand power meters. What are these? Oh, just like some uh, like kilowatt meters. Always handy to have those around. See what your stuff's actually pulling from the wall. Got to fact check the yes, Nick. Yeah, you got to. One fat miner. Yeah, I found the blue ones with the LED light on Amazon. Yeah, it's okay. He probably got them from your Amazon. Uh, six GPU rig hardware details. Got five uh, GTX Zotac 1070 minis, and then one ASUS Strix Overclock 1070, an EVGA 1000 watt G2. The motherboard is an ASRock H81, six Super Scope. No, Super Cope. Super Cope risers. Oh my God, bro. Oh my. Ah. Oh. All right, 
So, um, after the uh, the fire marshal comes through and inspects, he's like, "This is where the this is where the fire started, son, right here, right there." It's like they go and find where the single cigarette got flicked and bounced off of the Seder riser and exploded. I mean, these aren't horrible risers. It's just a Seder. Uh, it's okay. I have some Seder risers. I've used Seder before. I'm not. Who am I kidding? Got the Ace Ace Train minor case, uh, Astrin minor case. Oh, this is like the Veta case. Yeah, those are good cases. Intel i5 4460. Uh oh, got the Viper RAM. Yeah, got some Snake RAM in there. I like that. Like that one. Bitcoin Jake says my computer is trying to crash, running three nodes, Docker container, running modified BitQuest plugin. It's a Minecraft server. My text editor to code. My Minecraft test yet yeah, hates me. Oh, Bitcoin Jake, man. You need to pump up those numbers. One fat miner. Well, I got a jet, guys. Definitely change those risers, man. Would make it sad to see that nice build burn. One fat miner, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow night for sure. Emily and me says major fire alert. Fire alert. Yaznik's going to get them fixed for sure. Uh, got five Corsair fans on that one. Fan grills, both rigs running SMOS on 16 gig supersonic boost Patriot 3.0 USB sticks. This is Best Buy.ca, so that's uh, it's Canadian Best Buy. Hey, actually, look, 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 look. I have, well, bam. I have some of the same drives. Those are actually really good uh, USB drives, for the money at least. Um, $16.99 seems a little high, but I know. The Canadian maple syrup dollars don't go quite as far as they used to. So good for the money. What's in Canadian Best Buy? Squirrel. Test Zero Boy. Hey Brandon, have you ever revisited Awesome Miner yet since your original video? Um, I actually use Awesome Miner on the uh, test bench beside me, but I haven't like remade the video. Um, I use it as a mining tool. I don't use it as a profit switcher. So, I mean, there's not a whole lot for me to revisit, I guess. We need a follow-up video after the repair from Yajnik. We need... We are concerned. All right, Michael Johns, he's putting Yajnik out there. Yajnik, you heard that. We need an update once you get her, once you get her swapped over on the new setup. So what we got over in Canada... We got any deals in Canada today? Let's see. What do we got? Some, some RX 570s. Can you buy that in Canada? Oh my goodness. The cheapest RX 570 at Best Buy of Canada is $243. It's a sapphire. Holy smokes. Sold and shipped by Mike's Computer Shop. Mike's Computer Shop. In, bu in business since 2001, Mike's Computer Shop will ensure your order is delivered. Um, well, okay, we're gonna we're gonna close that out. Hey, Brendan, uh, thinking of playing around with it finally, but as a profit switching miner. Uh, Tesh Zero Boy, I don't. We have a notification. What is that? Backish Mill, would you recommend running different GPUs like 480, 560, 570, 580 from the same motherboard? Thank you. Um, I think you're going to be fine as long as you're running the RX um, 4, 5 series together. Uh, I don't like doing it. I have one rig that's got 560s, 570, or it's got two 560s, one 570, and then 580s on it, and it is my most inconsistent machine. I do prefer to try to run the same at least chipset of graphics card it doesn't have to be the same manufacturer but if they're 560s try to make them all 560s 570s try to make them all 570s it'll just cut out a little bit of headache wondering like oh is this a compatibility issue is this something else because you're going to run into that and test zero boy i was just going on saying that um if you'd like profit switching then you may want to check out win miner but if you or if you're like automatically converting over to one coin i don't know if you are if you want to profit switch and gain all the coins, then you could just you know do mining pool hub with uh, awesome miner is the way to go. 
Vivcrypt Mining. Oh, and back Backish Mill, thank you for the five dollar donation, bro. Really do appreciate it. And Vivcrypt Mining also had a five dollar donation. It says, can't wait. Can't wait. We will be we will be talked about in the future for staying strong. Woot woot. Oh, dude, what? Go ahead and make sure you know what color Ferrari you want and how big the house you want, bro. Everybody's gonna be jealous, but it's it's the grind time right now. It's the grind time for sure. Emily and me, 1070 Ti is too much for SATA. I think SATA's max 67 watts. Emily and me, I don't even think SATA's 67 watts. So yes, the 1070 Ti is too much. And Yaznik knows, he said, I'll swap the SATA risers when you have the Aeon donation address up. Well, I'll get that donation address up for sure. We just don't want you to have any kind of issues there, Yaznik. I don't wish any ill will on any of the crypto community or actually anybody in general. Um, gotta gotta protect our, our our group. We gotta tighten it group here. No problem there, backish Mill. And if you ever have any questions, everybody can jump over to the Discord and type it away or jump into voice chat, which I'm gonna be going to after this. We're gonna be playing some video games and and actually Sir Dash, uh, he spelled it out right there. A O E. We're playing some Age of Empires tonight. Anybody that's got Age of Empires 2 HD on Steam is more than welcome to jump in. And join us. We're playing a couple matches, trying to keep up with stuff. SG Crypto Rigger, good morning, Brandon and y'all. Good morning, SG. We're actually almost at the end of our live stream, but I will message you on Discord for sure. Nice to see you checking in on the live stream. YouTube Watcher, 1050 Ti for the win. 1070 Ti or 96 watts on my Ether rig. Shaky Sean, Brandon, you should switch the 580s over to Music Coin. I'm making 75 cents a day on two 580s. Let's see what I'm making on my 580. I'm making 38 cents a day, which comes out to what, like 70 something cents? I mean, that's about right. SG Crypto Rigger, AOE, that's old school. Yes, it is very old school, SG. If you're trying to get in on a match, do you have some Age of Empires? Age of Empires 2. That's from 1999 to be exactly. So, like, this could run on a potato. So, having a, a, a rig is not the issue at hand here. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Vivcrypt Mining. Take a look at Crypto R Us. He follows the Bitcoin rich list address and huge buys over the last month. Crypto R Us. We'll type that in before we uh, are off. Crypto R Us. SG Crypto Rigger said that was one of the first games I played, man. That was an awesome game. Crypto Cryptos R Us. Thank you for that, Viv Crypt. I will definitely check him out. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe and try to catch up on what he's doing. At Bitcoin Jake, I used to bring full game into school on a one gig flash drive, I think. Yeah, the game will fit. I think it's not even a gig. I think it's like 500 meg. It's a small game. Sony Nier said, the last gaming system I touched was a Nintendo 64. We need to build you a gaming machine there, Sonya. First game I fell in love with was StarCraft 64. Well, StarCraft is basically Age of Empires, just, you know, not medieval. And or, I mean, yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to sign off, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we almost hit a full hour mark today, so we got some stuff coming. And um, I did have an article that I was going to read and go through, and it was talking. It was from The Economist, and they were talking about how Bitcoin has lost most of its value this year. But you know what? We don't even need to read that because we live it, okay? So we can just close that out. We don't need that, that fake news in our life. Oh, and I figured out how to use uh, GIFs or GIFs or GIFs, whatever you want to call them on Twitter so y'all better watch out cuz I'm gonna I'm gonna be giffing you up uh, if you're not following me on Twitter please do it's at Brandon coin one and I'll keep you up to date with stuff that's going on so with that being said stay strong keep mining never give up stand together all the cheesy quotes you can think of combine them <laughs> I don't know that's all I got Adios, guys. Have a good night. I'll be over on Discord. Peace.